All right, hey friends, welcome back to the channel. And today we are looking at this song by Taylor Swift, Back to December. This is the third song in my sing-along series. And in fact, that was an acoustic sing-along video that I did. And today I'm going to take you through the song and tell you how I play it. And hopefully you'll learn a thing or two. All right, let's dive straight in. This is uh, a song in the key of D. So you have two choices, right? You could play in the key of C with a capo on the second fret, as I do in the video. Or you could play it in the key of D. Okay, and we can do that very simply with this app that I'm using, which is on song on song app and this totally changed my whole performing uh workflow and this is a very very good app if you want i'll put a link over here go and check out this app and uh, see if it benefits you but i'm gonna show it to you so for example if we are playing the key of d it will be d sus4 b minor If you play it in the, and of course, there's the auto scroll function as well. So I'm going to stop the auto scroll. But for this tutorial, I'm going to play in the key of C. Just so it's a little bit easier, right? It's a little bit easier. And it goes like C sus4. So C sus4, right? You have a C chord here. Sus4 just means we want to add the F. So, right? I'm going to toggle. This view is probably better. Okay, C sus4. Oh. <laughs> okay. So sus4 to the C. Right. Then there is a hammer on over here. Right, so on the C, I go using my pinky. So. And then to the A minor, or you could play A minor 7 as I do over here. A minor 7 just means it's the A minor without pressing on the, the ring finger. So you have 0, 2, 0 starting from the 5th string, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0. That's an A minus 7. Right, makes things a little bit easier. So you could go, for example, C sus4. Right. I'm doing a hammer on here, and then A minor 7. And then goes to the F. Bar F. So you do need to play a bar chord over in this song. It just makes it a lot easier. If you don't play a bar chord, you could maybe go... Right, you could play this... This mini F over here. But that's basically the intro. The key to this song, to the intro, is to keep the right hand going. So here you can see I'm going... want to do something like this and not right then you see your rhythm is all over the place try to keep it going imagine the song the, the melody in your head So that's basically how you play the intro. Moving on, let's take a look at the video. Okay, watch my right hand. So what I'm doing over here is I'm using a 
The chords are simple, C, A minor, F, which I'm using, and I'm, I'm muting it like this. So I'm playing one, right, fret number one with the thumb, three, three, two, one, and mute. Right, so I'm sort of doing it this way, and the reason why I do so is because, take a look at my right hand, uh, sorry, my left hand. I basically say stay in roughly the same wrist position. If I go, if I do this, look at my wrist position, it changes. So that will slow me down. And uh, it's a little unorthodox, but right now so many good guitar players all use their thumb. F, G, A minor. It's really very, very helpful and I encourage you to explore using the thumb. All right, but what I'm doing over here is I'm basically trying to use a thumb finger picking so I'm doing and then you will realize that dum, dum, da, 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 You can come up with your own pattern, you don't really need to play exactly the same way as I am. But I'm having this consist consistent beat. Alright, I'm going to bring back the chords again so you can see. So C. Because I'm playing, I'm playing rhythm, right? So I'm trying, just trying to, as a one instrument, just trying to add more groove to it. So uh, I add, by adding a little percussion, it just elevates the whole performance as well, All right? So explore doing something like this. If you're new to this, you could possibly do. See, this is where it comes in very handy. Even when I'm strumming, I can play the whole thing because I'm basically muting my first string. It's okay if it has a little bit of sound because, you see, basically covers it up, right? So, But if you want to, you could go finger picking. Okay, so that's basically how I do it. And then pre chorus, let's take a look what I'm doing it for the pre chorus. Similar. Alright, that is actually one of my favorite parts, and I, I just heard it in the in the song and I tried to my best to play it. So it goes when you uh left them here to die. You kind of need to I don't really think I can explain it very well, but what I'm doing is I'm just trying my best to be in time. This is where if you take a look at my my foot, my or my rhythm, my thigh, I'm trying to keep time using my thigh. Take a look at my left thigh. There you go. Okay, that's a bad example. <laughs> My left thigh should be always, always. Uh, you give me roses and I let them here to die. There you go. So it's, it's trying to. This is basically my metronome, right? So many people will rush in this part because they're not sure and um, the goal is to avoid rushing. Okay, so let's go back to the video again. That's an iconic part that you should try to do. And the, the way that, sorry, I forgot to explain how to do it. Basically, right, it's on the 
uh, it starts off with the open string, that which is a G. G, A, C. So you could go on the F shape, but just limiting yourself a little bit. Just three down strums very quickly. It's okay if you hit the other strings because they're all in the in the chord of F, right? And this open open G is okay. It just gives it a little bit of a. It's, it's the second note in the in in the F uh, in F, which is fine. And it's also in the key of C. So okay, that's that's theory stuff. Okay, move on, move on. <laughs> So I'm just basically using a very simple rhythm over here. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Back to December all the time. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Right, sorry, E minor. Up, up, down, down. Just trying to change it a little bit here. Back to December. You could also do up strums over here, right? That's what I did, I think. Let's see. Mm, okay. Da 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 da. All the time, palm muting. Okay, let's continue watching. Take a look at my right hand. So what I'm doing over there is I am uh, I am doing palm muting for the verse two. These days I haven't been sleeping, staying up. You should practice like this, just all down strums first. And yeah, think about the summer, all the beautiful time. And then there is an app and a flow, so it goes more like hard and soft, hard and soft. Right? And then when you get more comfortable, you add a little bit of strums. I'm just picking strings when I when I'm on the way up because my hands got to go up and down right I'm just it really is that simple no no real science behind this <laughs> okay so simple and then break on the cocaine the dark days all I gave you was goodbye over there I tried to do a little you gave me all your love all I gave you Goodbye. So I was trying to do a little bit of swell and then chorus. Right? Same thing. So that's basically how we construct an arrangement. Continue. This is the same, this is the part of the same I'm gonna forward. Okay. 
This is very similar to what I did before. So it's basically, I'm just doing... How do you know what notes to play? I'm just doing... Right, so it's only the C that I'm adding a bit of embellishments. The notes to play, you can guess a little bit. So for example, if it's C, C is made out of C, E, and G. C, E, G. You could try those notes. What I usually do, I just try... In this case, it happens to be E, F, and G. So... Uh, it does work. Alternatively, just think of notes in the key. So we're in the key of C, because we have a capo on the second fret. Key of C, the notes are C, E, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So just try those notes. C, D, E, F, G. If you don't know where the notes are, you need to check out my guitar cross. <laughs> you can dig around for it. It's spark joy with guitar. Okay. Just doing up, up, right? Again, right hand stays constant. Hit the strings when you want to hit the strings, right? Throw in a ham on or two. Right, something simple like this. Okay, continue. Let's see what else is there in the video. Okay, let's talk about that part first, yeah? So I missed your tending. You could just try this. Down, down, up, chop. Down, down, up, chop. Miss your tending. Chop. So right. Now you have me in your arms that September night. Here I am trying just. The, the reason why I play it like this is because I can let the vocal have space. It can breathe. So I'm doing Your sweet smile So good to me So right Okay, so Of course, in the video, I'm not playing it this simple But those are just additional stuff So I'm doing In order to, to do that, I have to admit It's not the easiest thing You just, you have to be really comfortable with your rhythm It's more like at the background, I'm doing My foot is, is then coming on it, coming in to help me. So yeah, it's uh. But when you're starting out, don't worry about that. Just go. Okay. So that's the bridge part, and then later on, there's 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 it just goes. Maybe this is wishful thinking. Dun, 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 dun. Love to get us go back in time, change it, but I can simple stuff, just simple one strums. And then in the last chorus, I think what I was doing there is simple, right? Right, the rest is fairly similar, so it's just yeah, turn around and make it all right. uh, Sorry, uh, sorry for that, and I'll go back to December I chose to go up in the 
up in terms of like using up strums. But you can do it your, your way, you know. But the idea is just to swell up over there so that it hits the final chorus with a big bang. Okay? And I'm just trying to keep this video to 20 minutes because sometimes I can be super long with it. So that's it for this video. I think I've covered all the bases and this is how you play back to December. If you don't play guitar, you can also go and check out my acoustic sing-along video. I would love to hear your beautiful voices. So go and give the video a try. Whether you're a guy or a girl, you can try it. I would love to hear your uh, voices. You can tag me on Instagram or you can tag me on YouTube. It's all Guitar Street, um, one word. And uh, I would love to hear that. If you are interested in this uh, software that I'm using right now, as you can see here, I have over 400 songs. And this has really changed my performing uh, career, I would say, right? It, makes things so much so easy and I, I can just change the key that I want and just scroll. I do have a affiliate link with them. If you would like to support the channel, you can go and check out on song. It's a yearly subscription if you want to. and uh, But it's been such a game changer and I can change my chords and everything. It's Once I put it there and then it's going to be so, so, so easy to use. So the I'm gonna put a link to the description. It's just bit.ly slash on song app and then you would get 10% off this uh wonderful platform. I didn't get any discount uh when I first started. So that's uh it's very generous of them to give me an affiliate link. Go and check out the app. If you have any questions regarding this song, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And thanks for watching Guitar Street and I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye bye.